On stage is brought to you in part by Reggae Sun Fest, the return July 18th to 23rd, Montego Bay, St. James. Get your tickets at reggaesumfest.com. And Metal Vibes, Saturday, July 30th, Pier 1, Montego Bay. Come on, everybody. Part Kingston for Jamaica's second city, Montego Bay, to cover Reggae Sun Fest, the return. Here's why you should stay with us all the way. Look on this One, it's the first staging since the pandemic, and fans just miss the festival. Coming from Cali, baby! Place to be right now. Two, many of its headliners are experiencing the greatest reggae show on earth for the first time. Not just as performers, but also as patrons. Artists like Skeng, Jashi, and the Nation Boss, to name a few. The Sunfest stage will be the biggest stage each has ever graced, and their fans are expected to come out in massive numbers. Three, some of the biggest musical brands in reggae and dance hall. Top the list of performers. Here is some fest boss, Joe Bogdanovich, on the return. The anticipation from our perspective is great. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you have on it a lot of people who weren't even artists <laughs> the last time you had a stage it. And they, and they have broken into the space and are trending all over social media. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are on the, the lineup. Mm -hmm. How does it look from your perspective? What's the feedback you're getting from the space about especially the new arrivals in dancehall? Well, let me tell you something. Friday night and Saturday night for Reggae Sunfest, both nights close with a dance hall segment. Friday night is dealing with the new generation artists, and there are a lot of them, and they're doing very, very well, and the ones that you're talking about. And we're gonna see what they have to do. Yes. And then on Saturday night, we're gonna see, we're gonna do a tribute to Dave Kelly, which is one of the big, big instigators of dance hall music at that time, with all those great artists and those great rhythms that he did. And so we're, we're gonna end both, both nights with a reggae, one with new artists that are setting the trend now, and the ones that set the trend and still setting trends throughout the last several, several years. So I think we're gonna find out just all about dance hall music and where it stands. Isn't that a new, tr a new feature of the, of the festival? The tribute. That's the a tribute, new feature, isn't it's it? It's a new feature, and um, Dave Kelly will be here also, and that'll be interesting. Uh, haven't been here in a long time, and he's very, very excited about it. The artists are very, very excited, and they're doing a lot of recording right now with Dave in, in the Bahamas, and you know, so there's a lot of anticipation, a lot of positive energy bringing great dance hall back to the, the Sumfest stage. Can you go back to the anticipation? Because your patrons are coming from just about everywhere on the planet, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all over the world. Well, they're coming from the UK, they're coming from, from the Netherlands, they're yes. coming from New York, they're coming from everywhere, Canada. That was so before the pandemic. Is that still so for this staging? Are they making that trek from all over the, the, the world? This well, they're, they're buzzing. I they're can buzzing. Tell you they're buzzing, and we'll see what happens. But yes. um, they're certainly buzzing, and I, just the way you look at the whole environment and the staging and, and, and the just all the parties that are going on in, everywhere in the world. I mean, people just want to get re, get outside and relieve themselves and celebrate life. Mm -hmm. Could you talk a little bit more? You, you spoke about the, the, the new feature with a Dave Kelly being mm -hmm. celebrated. Mm -hmm. That is great. What uh, else is new? What else is new? Well, this is the first time that you can actually buy uh, seats you can choose your seats and have your seat, your prearranged seat. It's on the various platforms, two platforms, stage left and stage mm -hmm. right. And that's about mm, 750 50 seats per night. 
Okay. Uh, and you can buy those seats, and they're you know they're they're yours. So that's something brand new. That's brand new. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Uh, what else is brand new? Um, so there will be two risers. Yes. For uh, your VIP guests. Yeah, yes. Or yes. patrons. <laughs> yes, yes, those are patrons. And then we have something even a little step above that, yes. which will be the, uh, the Lux Lounge. The Lux? The Lux. The Lux. The, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very big and nice. So what it is, it's very exclusive. It's got 12 tables per side with butler service, Waitresses to you know to make sure that you're cool and everything's being done right with with um, food and drink and yes. if you want premium liquor your 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 server will come down and get you whatever you want to get or you can go right downstairs and you have that bar that's right next to you the service is going to be supreme this time I'm not as squeaky as it was last time. So I'm, I'm looking with a lot of detail to improve the whole Sumfest experience. So the look and the feel, feel of, yeah. the, of the venue and the, the whole show is going to be brand new? Well, I got, I got, yeah, I'm glad that you're telling me, I miss, you know, there's so much new, I don't know where to begin, but I can yeah. tell you, the, the, the way this production is going to be this year, you know, in 2019, the production was out of this world. Yes. And this year, it's not going to be anything like that. It's going to be out of this universe. I can't wait to see the transformation promised by Joe of Catherine Hall. And stay with us next right here on our stage, a one-on-one -on -one exclusive with one of the most anticipated new arrivals in dancehall on the lineup of Reggae Sunfest, The Return, Joshi. On Stage with Winford Williams. On Stage is brought to you in part by... Reggae Subfest, The Return, July 18th to 23rd, Montego Bay, St. James. Get your tickets at reggaesumfest.com. And Metal Vibes, Saturday, July 13th, Pier 1, Montego Bay. Montego Bay. Come on, everybody. Now, sightseeing is definitely a must when traveling from Kingston to Montego Bay for Reggae Sound Fest. Right now, this is so beautiful that we had to pull up and take a deep breath and take a good look. Look at it, so beautiful, just outside of Linstead in St. Catherine. That's where we are right now. And look at the beauty of this place. Okay, so there you have it. Beautiful scenery along the way to Montego Bay from Kingston. And now, our exclusive Pre-Sum Fest with Jashi. As a child, dancehall artist Jashi had always dreamt of experiencing Reggae Sum Fest. But little did the cream of the crop dancehaller know that at age 21, his first experience at the greatest reggae show on earth would have him as one of the most anticipated on its lineup. The reggae sound fest, sir. Let's it, speak about that. I, I, you know, I'm too excited to talk about sound fest, you know, man, because I don't know I'm the first performance at sound fest, I'm the first experience. Like, I never experienced sound fest before. Mm -hmm. If I'm up on video, I watch it, you know what I say? So, if you go to some fest, I'm excited for even a perform, you know. So I'm just there, I hope for the best still and yeah. give them the cream of the cup, you know. Your first experience, you are one of the most anticipated. Not just as a fan standing by hoping that one day yeah. they do this. Stay and you. a lie, but, but we, just, we just use that and, and knowing that still have, it can, can build and break, you know. So I try to use them knowings there and build me, you know, my keep myself calm, you know. 
take myself away from that 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 perception there, you know. Just I go go about it like yeah, I'm a first some first I'm to get booked for more and thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So you just go and give it all, you know the people them are wait for see and thing, you know. We are wait for see them of yeah. course too, but you don't know the thing go. It a go be a vice, man, it a go be an experience too. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. But there's a you that takes over. There's a you in you that takes over when you get on a stage, isn't it? Yeah, 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 all right. Right now, you yeah, talk to the Maliki Clark, you know, man, Winford. You know, thing going, me touch on the stage, I just see Ra Ban, you know, man. Yeah. Ra Ban, just see them again, man, when me touch on the stage. Different me, of course, okay? Yeah. All right, stage is a thing where it's just like a baller, where train every day. He can't wait till a match there, you know, because they train the whole pre-season. They can't wait till a match. So same thing with me. I've been at practice and try to master my craft. And that I think no for young artists them for do still spend time on mastering them craft, you know. Nobody say, hey, go up on stage, you know, good and them thing. Once they spend time and develop, then thing I go forward perfect, man. So some face a match there for me, being a train feet, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, if, well, you're in such a good, a good mood, uh, such great spirit. And we're, we're wishing you well, we want you to win, Benji. Yeah, you know, born fighter, you know, so a born winner, you know, can't lose the fight, you know, man, you know? Does it matter to you where you're placed on the line now? Actually, it, do, it doesn't matter to me right now, because me I say I'm a first some fest, I'm a first experience of it. I don't know who, if when you perform 2 o'clock or more people there, or if you perform 4 o'clock or more people there, you know. Mm -hmm. I just know, say, go out there and give them the best, no matter the crowd and thing, you know. Uh, yeah, man. Well, Josh, I don't know if there's anything else you want to clear. Recordings and those. But you know, we, we, we just dropped the first release in a three months. So we have whole heap more forward yes. before and after some fest. We have whole heap, whole heap music forward. You know, I think of band fighter, remix, you know. So just look out for that still as it. Yeah, man. What are some of the places calling you to perform? Internationally, we, we have got quite a number of places still. Because the world is big, you know, man. We, 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 we have, we, 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 Contracted for perform um, appearance at all heap of places in a overseas, small island, you know, Belize, St. Lucia, St. Martin, St. Vincent, we go Antigua, Wadia, we go Trinidad, we go Grenada, we go Guyana, we go Cayman just the other day. You know, we were supposed to go Canada right after some festival. So I just, yeah, America. But well, you know the, the visa thing goes so away there, I work on that right now. So as soon as you yeah, bookings them, there they man. Bookings are forward in like rapid, cause you don't know. Bookings forward off a movement, you know. In for you know, and we have a movement, so I not just the songs that people they want to hear. People they want to see with the truth to meet, we take picture and thing. Cause we have a movement and real fans out there, you know. Yeah man. What about the continent? Africa. Over there, so we want to go right now, right now, over Africa we want to go, but it's a way how oh, I try to create, create it, you know, just busting a dance hall, music and thing. You know, you have to, you have to really sacrifice your, your, your talent and to reach the level where you want to reach, you know, like, we don't want to do no, 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 no track shows and them things when I go to Africa, you know, it have to be banned and things, so we have to sacrifice that. Dog go Africa, you put a band together, you know, get, get the African them see Jashi as first nation, you know, Jashi and him band, you know. So, yeah, cause, you know, we want to make a music the real way, live music we want to tour with, you know, we not just want to tour with trucks. That's why we just try to keep it simple and try to build with the background and build the band and, you know. Yeah, man, be a perfect team, so when we're ready for Africa, you know, motherland, trouble. Yeah, man. Yes, let's go, man. Straight, and big up on stage every time, too, you know, from my heart. Okay, so here you have it, Jashi, on his appearance at Reggae Sunfest.
On Stage with Winford Williams. On Stage is brought to you in part by... Reggae Sunfest, The Return. July 18th to 23rd, Montego Bay, St. James. Get your tickets at reggaesunfest.com. And Metal Vibes, Saturday, July 13th, Pier 1, Montego Bay. Come on, everybody. the gate of the venue, ready for the first of the two big nights at Reggae Sun Fest, The Return. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the story Jason is reporting on, the big sound clash that happened last night at Pier 1. Thursday night at Pier 1 parking lot. Five big sounds battling for supremacy and the title. Exodus Nuclear representing Guyana. Base Odyssey representing Jamaica. Silver Hawk also from Jamaica. Mystic Sound representing Canada. the defending champion from Germany, Warrior Sound. Round after round, the sounds gave their best, but Mystic and Exodus were easy casualties of war. Silver Hawk got an impressive third place, leaving the German and the base Odyssey on the battlefield for tune for tune. It leaned towards Bass Odyssey for the first five songs. Then the pendulum swung in favor of the German one-man army. But in the end, in a 6-4 to four ratio, Bass Odyssey took down the defending champion and took the trophy back home to Jamaica. Good man from a win, we win and we good man. I know the thing a country so man we do it for country. As I say, the last time a clash I go on, two of the elders, them two of the, the strong Jamaican so them get beaten. So me did have to come back and do it for them. I know them at them a foundation, my business, Pink Panther and Ricky Trooper big up on yourself. Me did have to come back come do it for them and do it for Jamaica and do it for Sunfest and do it for the culture. Because big up Sunfest, cause this what Sunfest I do right now is a good look. And you know, internationally wise, people can look in and know say boy sound clash is still alive in a Jamaica and the fans them they react to it perfectly. Yeah, yeah so it's a good look still in a real life. Clash from the USA, they say. Yeah. First win, so you know, it's a good look for me. I like, I like, me, me love the turnout for the clash. I love the turnout, because you can see the players are basically ram up. Um, you know, it wasn't easy. I don't know, you know, nothing is easy. We always come out with a winning mentality, but I don't know, you still have to work and put in your work and try to be professional and hold your, because you know, clash different from juggling, you have to hold your composure. Even when you're down, you still have to hold your composure. And, you know, overall, it's a good look for the culture, as you say, because you don't know, people say, yes, yeah, sound clash dead and sound clash this, but it's still alive. And it still can rise even on the level that it was before and, and stay there. Okay, congratulations to Base Odyssey. And as mentioned earlier, some of the biggest names in dancehall, new arrivals in the last two years, are set to grace this stage tonight. A night that they will seek to shine. Artists we have never seen on such a stage, a stage as large as this will be performing. Who are you looking forward to seeing? TJ see? and Shensia. Who oh, TJ? And Shensia. Uh, Tonic Law. I like him style. Oh, that was alkaline they bring me out tonight. Uh, alkaline bring you yeah, out? So you're not, you're not bringing none of the new arrivals? They you must know, so really, me not really understand their music. Not all of them, but alkaline understand their music first. Joshi and Skeng, me come here to take in. Yeah? How many young youths I watch them rise, I like them. Shensia. And Spice. Everybody. Just looking forward to a great show. Mm -hmm. Moazi, everybody. Yes. Everybody Moazi. All right. And I'm still man in life. Yeah, I definitely same. came to see Aishana. Yeah. Definitely. Coming all the way from the camera. Yes. Yo, stick one to the camera. I'm so much more than you want to say. You see ya. And now it's time to take you on stage for some of the early acts. 
But first, a chat with Red Stripe, Sunfest's long-standing sponsor. It feels so good to be back at Reggae Sunfest. Um, after a two-year break, the lockdowns, and to come, to actually just come into the venue and seeing thousands of people inside here, enjoying Red Stripe, of course, is a really good feeling. Isn't Red Stripe the most consistent sponsor of Reggae Sunfest? Well, let's go back before I answer that question. A lot of people don't even know that Reggae Sunfest has been around since 1993. And every single year since then, Red Stripe has actually been a sponsor. There was a little hiccup in between, to be honest. Um, but every time Red Stri uh, that Reggae Sunfest has actually been, Red Stripe has actually been a sponsor in some shape or form. Um, we're tired of sponsors sometimes, of course. Game off and actually make sure, though, that we're always here to be the refreshing beer of everyone here enjoying the music of their favorite acts. I mean, tonight, I'm sure that, you know, there are persons coming to enjoy the Alkalines, coming to enjoy the massacres. Uh, I don't know who's going to close the show, but one thing I know for sure is that every single person out there, no matter who they can actually come to see, is enjoying a Red Stripe tonight. Okay, and what is there a campaign around what, your Sunfest this year? I mean, for Reggae Sunfest this year, we really are just using the hashtag music and Red Stripe. Um, we're actually showcasing persons enjoying Red Stripe while they're watching the show. Um, we're having bucket deals, of course, so persons can enjoy Red Stripe at an affordable price and have a chance to win prizes as well, including a music boombox linking back, of course, to music. Um, but the big special thing that we're doing at Reggae Sunfest this year is launching our commemorative Jamaica 66 pack. Um, it's actually going to be on shelves in your favorite supermarkets, it's a limited edition special edition so it's only here for just well i'm not even gonna say how long here for a limited time guys so pick it up um it has the jamaican colors on it and what you'll see is our tag it's brewing good vibes for 60 years because red stripe has actually been around since independence and even beyond red stripe has actually been around since 1928 so it's really ingrained into jamaican culture so it's a celebration in and of itself but really looking forward to jamaica 60 this year Everything First of all, congratulations. This is your debut performance at Sunfest. How do you feel? I feel awesome. I feel super proud of myself. Yeah. So, yeah. And what does Reggae Sunfest mean to you? It definitely means a lot because growing up, I've always known about Reggae Sunfest. I always go and like watch the artists and just always see myself on the stage. So, no being on the stage and this is actually real life I am super grateful and I'm just yeah proud of myself to be like reach this far <laughs> All right, Lolly, so a couple of years ago, you were supposed to make your debut, and it didn't happen. And as you said on stage, nothing happens before time, because here you are, and I mean, this is the best way to debut, isn't it? Definitely, Jason, definitely. It's, it was a vibe. Yeah. It was mad. It was a mad vibe. And talk to us about the journey to this moment, your first time at Sufferth. The journey is just me being myself, the same youth from jungle. I'm just having fun, you get me? Just having fun, because I want to know how we start our right. So we just have fun, tell people them like something. Yeah. And of course, you've been on many stages. What does Sumfest mean to you? I'm the fact that my mother come watch my profile, and she loves Sumfest. That means everything for me. So that was everything for me. Watch it Well, it was a great one. I went out there and I did what I did best and make sure that I enjoy myself while I'm doing it. Well, it was awesome. The crowd was giving me a lot of love and I love that. Girl, my old, I'm a 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 girl, my old, I'm
One of the biggest moments on Reggae Sunfest stage tonight, and this is the first night of two big nights. You were part of it. You were part of that moment that I think Vincentia's performance that I consider to be the biggest. How did it feel for you? As a music lover, I will more than say bingo. You know? Yes. A fireworks in a head, man. I don't know what you say, but thank you. Thank you very much, you know? And give God thanks. Say it at work and people them love my voice. Um, I love how my work is stage. I just love nothing, nothing folly to me, you know? Now, me personally, I don't know if I did the best performance, but it was a great performance. Yes. Yeah, so I love that. I tell you, I'm a five from Pep. Hey, people close to me, but not deserve it. And I got no feel. Yeah, but don't you mess with me, girl, but guess what I'm? Yeah, but make enough mystery and terror. Just last week, but don't you mess with me. Um, should I congratulate you for this performance today? Yeah, man, up, man. No, up, man. How do you feel about it personally? It's a great feeling, isn't it? We've been at work for the shows like this, so for Sister Wadea, it's definitely a blessing for me and my team. Yeah. It's your debut performance. Yeah, my debut. You know my debut. At what point did you realize that this, you belong on this big Sunfest stage? I know from morning, from. I'm going to start deciding for the music, yeah. I know what's, I know what's at the top, but they don't want to go on all this over there right now. You use a pump of face right through. I'm a pretty in a real life too. Yeah, scared up on my skin, that's true. But I never let me want to show you me smoothie tongue. Face up, face too. Right through, what do you use that chat this song? I wish filter you use. I IG want the cue. Okay, Marcy, should we say congratulations? You've made your big debut at Reggae Sunfest. Yes, I did it. I really did it. It feels so surreal. Did I do it? I did it. <laughs> and how do you rate it? How do you feel now that it's behind you? You know what? I had fun out there, and I'm glad it's over so I can focus on putting out new music because I'm so excited to drop more stuff. We take a break right here when we come back. The final stretch of this, they in turn. Ready to On Stage with Winford Williams. On Stage is brought to you in part by... Reggae Sunfest, The Return. July 18th to 23rd, Montego Bay, St. James. Get your tickets at reggaesunfest.com. And Metal Vibes, Saturday, July 30th, Pier 1, Montego Bay. Come on, everybody. But you see, sometimes as a woman with all your own, I will you mind your own business. Somehow, they can get upset. Them sick of me, I beg God, now I make you get rid of me. We are bringing forth some on stage. We're different because we are utilized dancers in the right way. We are showcased dancers in the right way. You know what I mean? And we are doing it from our own growth, from our own dancers, from the streets, from our own dancers, from TikTok, from our own dancers, from YouTube, from our own dancers, from Instagram, Jamaicans, and we are doing it. Why you fall in front of my body? Press it, press it, pump it, stay dead. Yeah, and let me wind up on your body. Press it, press it, pump it. Why? You pull up like summer ride. When I'm with you, it's okay. 
officially your first big stage after two years. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't done anything in the past two years. But you know some festivals have gone. Yeah. Me that try to run it you now, but we couldn't stop it. <laughs> And you did go on. Everybody expected, well, well they didn't expect the cutouts of trying. Andrew Holness. Enough things when I get to see. Mm -hmm. Enough things because there was a lot of technical diff difficulties. I had my intro set up and, you know, but it's okay. It's all right. And what does Sumfest mean to you? Sumfest is Jamaica. It's a brand. It's the biggest reggae festival right now on earth. And I'm just happy to be a part of it. You know what I mean? It's something that's definitely keeping the culture going. We need this. And of course, after this moment, after this performance, a lot of people are going to be talking about that one moment. So we expected maybe Andrew Holness and, and Christopher Tufton, but the moment with you know I the had killer. On the cardboard face. Uh -huh. what, is your, what is your response to that moment? Because people are going to say, that, that's the never did, it, ne it never did ever miss him. It uh -huh. did have to get it. Yeah. My mommy can't see him in real life. Uh -huh. I feel it took my frustrations. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Couldn't him did, couldn't miss it. Him could him did, I forget a piece. Yeah. You know I love you, killer. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it got. So, <laughs> Entertainment, right? So where do you go from here now? Of course, working as usual. Yeah. I'm dropping two new singles on Wednesday, Promising Legacy and Somebody. Probably members a girl of some stone dog. What touch me give me not if you're a man. Be a girl when I keep when he's in the chat. Head board and not by G Cabal. So here she is now. Spice. Crowned Queen of Dance. I'm just always just myself. I'm humbled, I'm just grateful. I mean, there's no denying that I've put in a lot of work. I've been here for two decades now. So, I mean, obviously the queen before me, she left a big shoes to fill. So, knowing that, you know, me stood my grounds and do my thing for the past couple of years, I just think I'm deserving of it. I've been here for a long time. I've put in a lot of hard work and smart work as well. So, you know, big up to all the other um, um, female, I was gonna say women, but all the female artists in the business because I know that it's gonna take a lot of hard work and dedication and, you know, motivation to keep going, so. Would you I'm declare happy. this your biggest night at Reggae Sunfest that you have been doing for years? Definitely, because being crowned the queen of dancehall and as, a, as, the, as the top woman of a genre is a, is a, is a great thing. So um, obviously I've been doing a lot of great moments on Sunfest for the past years, but to be crowned, I would definitely say it's the biggest night because, you know, now they're officially crowning me as the queen of the genre and it's not no small thing. It's a very big thing, you know, <laughs> it's a very big moment. I can remember some of those days when you were doing your thing. You were just performing and having fun. Fun, absolutely. You remember when me had come on the stage entrances, the different dynamics of, you know. Stagecraft. The stagecraft. I've put a lot of work into Reggae Sumfest, and I tell people all the time that every year sometimes I don't go home with nothing because I put back so much into the creativity of the costumes, the changes, the different, you know, the performings, the rehearsals, and, you know, I always just want to give back to the fans. A good show. That's why them start coming queen of stage, and, you know, I just always feel like giving to fans their money's worth is just important to me. What is, the, what is driving all of this, man? I was driving me, um, what I say I'm a pass. I've come from humble beginnings. I mean, a lot of people know because I speak openly about it. I was once homeless. So my slogan now is from homeless to greatness. And I just feel like now I'm a mother of two kids and I want to set, you know, a foundation for them and I want to leave a legacy. And I also want to show to my daughter, you know, that I'm a strong black woman and she can, she too can do the same, you know, and beat all odds and kick down all doors and set her own trends and, you know, become successful no matter where she coming from. So. Um, I just think that's my, my humble beginnings and my past is what motivates me because I never want to go back where I'm coming from. Some face, the world corrupt and has some more minds there. No love more by your mom from my Valentine's Day. Just only for family and the love and buy. I'm pleased my nature call me, make it go to vice. Can't wait to the flesh, I buy nails and buy bread. Real to myself, me live, love, me chance here. Life. Yo, congratulations, sir. Yes, man. You're, you're one of the top tier. Among the top tier in the Come new on. age dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. From about 2018, you know, say 2019. Yes. So it's a whole new paradigm unfolding in the music project. And yeah. how do you feel about your performance then? 
Yeah, I feel comfortable with the performance. I don't know, say, Moby, I never really get to see me live the last time our virtual performance would do. So I don't know if we just give themselves and make them feel good. You know them way they can't hold back. You see what I say? And the fans' reaction? Yeah, man, them love it, man, because I remember them not used to me. You know them way they make sure I got bright colors so them know, say, I'm not fully dark tonight, you know? Yeah, man, that's easy, you know? We're not responsible to what's going to happen to us, Richard. Richard, Richard, Richard. I'm going to tell you to what's going to happen to us, Richard. Richard, Richard, 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 Richard. I serve them, see how you hear me? All right, then. Step up the level, we do. Let's have a happy time with you. Man, feel like a champ right now. Right now. Smiling to them. Right now. Man, shining out the plants right now. Right now. We start up the day, my hand drive. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are. Gobi, which staging is this for you? Um, By myself, this is my third staging. You know, yeah, and I since night I talk about it, I say, yo, from a fall from some fest, I've never worked no time before four o'clock. The first time I was right after six, like four thirty. The second time, broad daylight, and in the morning again. So it's like my third staging, you know, and it, it feels great, you know. Yeah, yeah man, this is my third by myself, but with if I go count with Diddy, it's probably like I'm a six or I'm a seven. I'm there almost every year with I do now, but then when my name Diablo, you know. Yeah, How does it impact your ascension, your growth in music, if uh, any at all? As in some fest, mm -hmm. at the only festival left in Jamaica right now, you know what I mean, Winford? So it's like, at the end of the day, like, when you see the magnitude of people out there, you know, have no, no, no crowd like this in Jamaica, you know what I mean, right now, in a dance hall or reggae music, you know what I mean? So it's like, definitely, if you go out there and really and truly present a proper set and thing, it really and truly feels good, you know what I mean? And it actually helps you grow by looking at it and thing and say, yo, you definitely reach a different level, because guess what? You set a goal from 15 to 20 minutes, 25, and then at the end of the day, every year you're still there, that means you do something good. All of who love the answer knows it, I want to see the on them. I want to see on them. I want to see around this, sir. 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 We wanted so long, you know, the world locked down for like two, two years in Jamaica from March 2020 to March you know, 2022, you know, so we definitely wanted this dance hall, wanted this Jamaica, wanted this the entertainment industry, wanted this, you know, so we just come, come give with energy, you see, we have a build up in our way all along, we don't plan for going to the crowd for a long time and, you know, other engagement there with the people and thing and thing, so I just go out there and deliver. You know, give the people a vibe and they accepted it and, and, and we love it. We'll go back out there right now, you know. We we'll not go back out there right now because we're never really ready, but from them as a time, you know, we're not selfish and a lot of artists there for work and the youth them there for work. So we just we cut, we cut my profile man short because I took out like maybe like four or five rhythms for just kind of size it down and make the show go on, you see. <laughs> No feeling, no sign of waiting. I mean, not just some work, I get my pies to me drink. And if me not rate you, me not go run your people, me not want me not let. Cause me no feel alone. If me can't buy a split, much less me buy a drink. Never grow up in my good. Come on, man, that's a dust. Love for their rough cut. Me not pride of the people, not pride of the people. No, the people of me. Is this your first time at some place? Not really, you know, but it really feels like my first time right now, you know? Yeah. Because right now, I feel like it's a, it's, a, it's a new start, you get me? Reincarnation, bury my old self, you get me? That's why I even cut off the dread, you know? Yeah, because time I get rough. So it's just a new TJ right now, so I feel like I'm my first some fest this, you get me? Yeah, man. Music-wise, I've just been working from the other day, you know? In the studio, just working, working, working right now, because, you know, a lot of things happened in the past. So. I just want to forget, over that, forget that and just move on and just find some new material and just, as Mr. said, reincarnation and just, I feel like Sumfest is the show now where people are going to look back into my career differently, you know? Yes. Yeah, man. And you feel that way tonight? You no, a, bl a blind man anyway. feel. Yeah? A blind man feel. Yes. Yeah, I know that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know that for a fact. No? Yeah, man, I know that. This is a firm, confirmed that 
that was aimed to, to yeah, the Yeah, it's yeah. not like a DNA test that said 98 or 99 percent, it's 100 percent, you get yes. me? Yeah, man. I can see the confidence. You know, you're bridging. You're happy about this. Yeah, man. I rage. I rage, you man. You got the time of day, too. Yeah, bro. And I just rage. You get Daylight, me? I just. Uh, in, in Mount Mount Mount. I can tell you. I'm happy. Yeah. For the people them accept me. I don't come and suck and sit down and go and to. Yeah. You know, but I'm happy. The humility. I swear. I'm happy. Yeah. Because enough, I feel like I cry on the interview, but I'm not going to do that. If I if talk some things, but I just enough, I just want to focus on music and just make it speak for itself. Remember, you tell me before, you know, say, I'm going to see me, I'm going to tell you, say, I'm going to see me again. So here I am. Yeah. You can't interview me and I interview him over here, artists. Them. Just, just interview, just say, ask them what they need. Jamal and um, Briscoe. They might go and go there, they mash up the place. Give you the power, I'm over here. New episode of the Stop Blast, the Give a thanks. I respect the TJ. He made the world know me. I go by the name Jamal, aka One Dunceman, because I have a lot to explain to the world. TJ, I'm a musical brother from a taller time. You know the talent. As you see the response tonight, Moby, you know me, so it, me just have to continue work, which tonight, I'm um, the greatest night in a music True. ever since me had the music. I hope my mother watches and I see this, which is nice tonight, bro. It's, it's such a great experience, you know. I first time for Reggae Sunfest. I've never been to the venue, to the complex, to the compound before yeah. in my whole entire life, you know. And TJ called me out, you know, we definitely destroy, you know. Yeah. As expected. Yeah. Right? True. Cool. Yeah, man. True. So, so, why did you want to bring about. Um... Well, unity is strength, you know. You know, and the other men are two members right now. Yeah. United we stand divided with fall. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm more be this. Yes. And it's always a pleasure for me come from Glendevan, Dark come from Glendevan, Jamal come from Mobius, same way. All of us come from Mobia. It's a love, a unity. Me just want to see them like how people accept my talent and see. Just see for them talent. You get me? Don't put them 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Prime time to a Mobia you them like. Give it our segment. it's a tremendous feeling for no say I want another line up here and I man, I never know what time work. Every time the, 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 the time I flock to it, as I go up, go up and I say, hey, I'm not complaining, I'm ready for anything. You see me and say? But the first time, 019 when I work, and 945 when I work. So for sure, you say, God and time, nothing beat that. Okay. Work and God and time. How important was it for you coming in? What did you do to prepare? Apart from the wicked suits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, big up Marco, man, designer, man. See it? See him, but I say, all heap of work, you know, in food. Whole heap non stop work. You see what I say? I'm a team, I have to big up this team. CPM, Crash Your Play Music, you see what I say? Javdan Record, Fireway, you see what I say? Friend Sorrel, Benji, Red Boom, CPM Record, and my own. You see me? That I'm a son record label. We're different man for a long time, I just time and time, sure. And I've been living fast life and I see it is slow. But you see my lifestyle, I got this. See many people there outside where they feed man's over. Oh, Something! No. I may have stand the defender like Joseph you. Hey, 
If a girl say she wanna flex a chill So I just take it, give her what If you fall in love, get Everybody in a rock and Can you see dribble and more catch? I'm not faking this, no fuckers What's on the best? Go your seat, bro! One, two, three, go! Yes, sir. So, um, that was good. First of all, let me welcome you to Jamaica. Thank you. To Thank Second you City, Montego Bay, and to Reggae Sunfest. Thank you. How has it been for you? Man, it's been good vibes, great energy, amazing people, you know, just vibes, man. I'm just happy to be here. Oh. And it's my first time in Jamaica as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's... That's that's great because you you've come at a time when we're celebrating our music, yeah, you know what I mean, and so on. And you, you've you've got a big trap that just that burning up Jamaica. Yeah, crazy. And how were you? How did you feel about how you were received out there? Um, it was it was crazy, man. Like you know, the fans. You know, with responding back at me and just sharing energy with the tribe, you know, coming from Lagos, Nigeria, to just, you know, represent the world. And yeah, yeah it's a blessing, man. So it's, it's, it's a huge blessing. So is it above your expectation or below? Where did oh, it oh way above. Way above your way, expectation. Way, way above. Yeah, <laughs> way above. Reggae Sound Fest! What is that? For what I'm seeing, I'm a prayer, I see it, but I know about hard times. Memories in the past, mama. Oh, you come all right. We're well, going 25 years. I'm going to get the contract. I'm going to get the contract. You said it, and you're doing it. <laughs> Another takedown. Shit. Congratulations, boss. Yeah, man. Thanks. No change. No. I get some face. I have some more plan for you, know, and just pass. I get some face, no, so. I think we're going forward with a band as me always yeah. are easy, you see it. So yeah, get a band to perfection and we're ready for the world. Mm -hmm. the world stage, you know, one stage, world stage. You're in a, in this group of youngsters, new arrivals we call you. Yeah. Skeng and, and, and all the others. How did you feel coming in when you actually reach a venue? We spoke the other day and you were quite confident that you're going to be Jashi. Yeah. And it appears to me, and I, we discuss how when you go on a stage, you become that musician. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody, no, no exists. You've yeah. gone into yourself yeah. and you unleash and you express. Yeah. Um, how much of that was alive the, 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 at, on the set in Montego Bay this tonight? First, you have to say, oh, it, it starts from believe, you know. And then you have to believe in yourself first. Self belief and self esteem. Yes. Try to build up confidence and things. So, by me reach the venue and think the confidence was already there, you know, me I say, yeah, me never get a time for you. As me I say, me never experienced some fest before with the rest of artists. But me never get a time for experience it because maybe artists they never did a draw me out of my tent, you know. Yeah. But me did then I tend still. All our, our vibes on my team, I have to say thanks to my team, see me as me from the management to the G, them with the same way I put towards the energy. So I just self-confidence, man, and self-esteem. How comfortable were you at in the first song? The first song, the first song, if you realize, me, me take just like, say, a minute to go up on the stage after me get called out and thing because me was already, I tried to build up my energy. Is it me and it wasn't enough to go up on the stage at the time. So I build it up, build it up, man, until I'm ready. And as me, I say, a confidence, you know, so the crowd never really matter to me, you know. I never really see the crowd how big it is, honestly, right now. Because I just a look for normal perform, you know. That was where it keep me up in the night. Okay, so Josh, well, it's good seeing you, sir, and we're happy that you've said it and you've delivered. And people are going away now. Those who have not seen you before and are now convinced that you are a special talent sure. in, in this music. Sure. And that's all. I respect that. I have to say give thanks to your fans them to kind of use it for way to the pound with you, you know. As a man, the fans them really wait and think and show them support. So I have to say 
Oh, more she respect to the fans, I don't know if I got to the asylum, it's the birthday, it's the same, it's the whole power, the thing is it. Wedding? Yeah, I beat you. Straight up, bro. Like. Nah, I'm all alive. Yes, sir. That Bless is it, love. What do you expect, Josh? On stage, every time, you know, you think of love from my heart. Yes, sir. Straight. How the bag of life with the up to the port? How the bag of life with the... You are to make it with the... Fifty not come on the door. How the bag of life to the... How get them live with my dad? What's up, man? Let's have it. This night at Reggae Songfest, <laughs> this night for you. Yes, man. You see it for yourself. Yes. Yes, wicked, man. Wicked, wicked performance. Yes, right? man. And yes, man. Yes, man. Is it fulfilling what you wanted to do? Yes, because the fans them did a, did been a wait for a while. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just go out there and give them what they did a wait for. Give them what they did long for. You know what I mean? The massacre, the energy, the vibe. You know what I mean? So I just go out there and do my best. And them love it. They receive every minute I And you were part of what we call the New Age Dance Hallers. Yeah. Tonight. Uh, some of them first time for a big stage like this. Mm -hmm. Some of them got the break during the COVID crisis, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they were coming in here. Lots of them were not very good performers mm -hmm. in, when people saw them on stages and so on. What is your take on them? How, how do you feel about them? Well, I don't know. You know, big up the youths them. First yeah. and foremost, the youths are my future. I'm read every one of the youths them. We are trying to do something better with them life because they could have on the ends. That are the first thing. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. me used to in another position there at one time, so it's a learning process too. So we can't knock them. They have to just grow and learn it, you understand? And them do good in my eyes still because them go out there, them get it done, them could have shy away, them could have nervous, you know what I mean? Them go out there and get the task done. I know them family proud of them, them. So at the end of the day, if you get the money, you make your family proud, you go back to the drawing board, you see you can better, but you can't too bash yourself. Everybody up! Get it up! Give me this! My God! Everybody! Now, just a while ago, words backstage were that Skeng won't be performing. And it was so strong that we started to believe it. But then we came out to look and to ask questions of the, of the patrons about Skeng not performing, only to find that Skeng to the stage. And just take a look at what's happening. Zombies 2022, the return. One hundred plus. And if you feel like reaching, who I get up? I might die, Lemma. the return and uh, promising that next week we will tell you what happened on Saturday the second day tonight at Reggae Sumfest. Winford Williams on behalf of the hard-working team in Montego Bay for Reggae Sumfest 2022. Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week when we bring you night number two of Reggae Sumfest and more. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.